Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Adrian. I live in New York City. I am temporarily in Connecticut. Um, I am on day 16 of my 30 day, 30 lip challenge. Today is, I'm not going to mince words. It is not going to be a good day. I picked up this product. It is a new release by Say Beauty. It is called their Lip Blur Matte Blurring Lipstick. I saw it at Sephora as a rouge first access and I really do like some of Say's products and I thought, oh, how nice, a lip blurring. I thought maybe it would be a little bit like the NARS lip balms that I love so much, the soft matte lip balms. I got mine in the shade Modern, which by the way, if, if you like anything that's on my face, I will list the products I am using down below. I am at my sister's and I love rating her stash and I have rated um, her eye products and I'm very happy with this neutral look and her blush is by Koki and it is very pigmented though, very pigmented. So this is the component. It's nice. Um, though already like the writing is is dinged and it's brand new so i don't like that and it's just a simple bullet this is the shade just so you can see i picked like a neutral rosy color it's that color there so it is quite quite pigmented you know it's really full on it's not like a balm at all so it's not going to be like that NARS product whatsoever, because that one has some translucency. I wore this yesterday and I was very unhappy with it. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you why, but let me go ahead and put it on. So it's a very pretty color. It is full on. So I do like the color. I think it's a flattering color. It's an easy color to wear. And I, I would like to note that there is no discernible scent from it. It just kind of smells a little lipsticky, but no fragrance whatsoever. My issue with it is it is quite thick. Like it feels thick on and I'm looking at my lips and it looks like, I don't know if you can tell, Maybe I'm just now becoming overly critical with uh, lip products since I've like dedicated all this time to like really analyzing, but they kind of, hi it just highlights every single nook and cranny, which again, I don't love about uh, a lip product. And that thickness, that heaviness is not the best. It is a matte product, so it, there's very little Ref light reflection on it's just not blurring at all I would never call this blurring and the fact that it did I wish it would have just called itself like a cream matte lipstick I think that's what this is with full opacity but to call it blurring when it literally is highlighting my lip line so I can see in a mirror my lip lines from this distance on a blurring product I normally would not be able to see my lines. So it's just sort of like a little bit of a fail for me. I thought it was gonna be a very innovative product and it wasn't. Are you all interested in this product? Are you happy with what Say's releases have been? I know I really have enjoyed that highlighter. It's kind of like a bit of a gel highlighter that you can put over makeup or under makeup. I really like its consistency and color, but yeah, this is just sort of, pretty basic for me and I was expecting more for them I really was expecting more from them so not happy not happy at all but I wanted to jump on and let you all know my thoughts on it so if you are thinking about it I just want you to know what you're getting into I think if you have very plumpy lips who do I who do I watch that um I feel like every time she puts on a lip product it's just beautiful she has very very full full like luscious lips unlined lips they're just so so plump that every lip product looks good on her but that's not me and I have a feeling that's not the majority of us and we're we're buying the products products have to be made for people with flaws I mean they just have to be what are companies doing otherwise you know and it's and sometimes drugstore 
brands get it right. Sometimes clean beauty brands get it right. Sometimes high-end brands get it right. So I feel like in each of those populations, someone's getting it right. But in this case, I think Say got it wrong. So I know it's a little harsh, but Say La Vie, I think you guys come <laughs> to hear uh, the truth from me. I, I never try to deliver anything else. My, my content is never sponsored. I purchase all products on my own. And if a product is sent to me, I make sure I can say whatever I want about it before I film a video. So just so you know, that's my reality. I hope that's helpful. Um, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that way you can hear about tomorrow's video, which I promise will be a little more uplifting. Okay, take care everyone. Bye.